Hello, come on in. Come on in. It is another opportunity to pray. Come on in. Yes. God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. There's so many that are on today. I'm excited about you being here for the prayer challenge. And today is day 48. Day 48. We're Genesis, the 48th chapter and the 11th verse today is going to be our focus. And the Bible says, I never expected to see your face again. But now God has even let me see your offspring. So today we're going to pray for our future generations. We're going to pray to see the future generations. But we're also going to pray for the restoration of relationship. I need to add that one. Because he, uh, Israel says to Joseph, I never thought I would see your face. All right. I'm not sure if anyone has any broken ties with family or friends. Um, it does put a wedge there when you cannot communicate well. And so we're going to pray that those bridges are rebuilt, that restoration does come. But we're also going to pray for our future generations, those that legacy that we're going to leave behind. So let's go ahead and pray. Most gracious and heavenly Father, God, we thank you. As we enter into your throne room, Father, we are comforted in knowing that this is a safe place for us to be. You said where two or three are gathered in your name, there you are in the midst. And for that, we are grateful. We want your joy, which is in your presence. And we want the pleasures evermore as well. You promised that if we sought for wisdom, that you would give it to us liberally if we would but ask. So today, Lord, we come with our hearts pouring out for those relationships that need to be mended. God, we recognize that sometimes hurt happens or incidents happen and it puts a wedge between our friendships, our family relationships, even our marital relationships. And we know we need to rectify it. You told us in your word that we should leave our offering if we haven't ought with our brother and you told us how to handle it. You said to go to them and them alone. Give us the courage and the strength today to go to the ones that have really hurt us or disappoint us, taken advantage of us, used us, abused us in order to forgive. Help us to fully forgive today. Help us to release them from having to pay back what was taken. Help us to redeem our time, knowing that only you can restore 100%. Lord, we ask for restoration. We don't want our families broken. We don't want the relationships of, of not being able to communicate with them ever again. We wanna be cordial. We wanna be loving. We wanna bless them and be able to do it authentically, sincerely. So Father, we ask first and foremost that even though we may think that we will never see them again, give us the right attitude and the mind frame and the right heart that when we do, we're okay, that you have healed us completely. So we ask for that internal healing today, that healing of our emotions, the healing of our hearts, so that the disappointments in life don't hold us back and limit us because we're not willing to step forward. We also ask God that we be able to see our future generations, the legacy that we will leave behind, whether it be our children or our children's children, whether we step into being grandparents or great grandparents, Lord, we pray a blessing over them that our children will walk according to your will and your way, that they will look for your principles, that that will be their guiding forces throughout their lives, that even if they falter or step back or stumble, that they will always be on the right path. We know that you love them more than we do. And so God, we're just asking that you pull them towards you. You draw them even closer. If they have truly gone off track, Father, because of culture, because of some conversations, because someone else was in their ear. We ask that you stop it now in the name of Jesus, that you prevent them from 
destroying their entire lives because of some lies that they have heard. Lord, we ask that the truth penetrate through the dark places. You promised in your word in Jeremiah, the 31st chapter, you said we can wipe our tears away because our children are coming back and they're going to be able to do all things that you have called them to. So we're standing on that promise right now in the name of Jesus, that as they have gone astray, they are coming back now, that you would grab them by the scruff of their neck and bring them back into the fold, that they are going to follow your precepts, their principles, your plans. God, that they're going to accomplish everything that you set them on this earth to do, that they are going to do it and they're going to do it in excellence. They're going to do it and they're going to do it loving you. They're going to do it following this, the sure foundation, the spiritual foundation that we have then set up for them. God, even though imperfect as it was, we're asking that you fortify it with the right teaching, the right tribe, the right people to come alongside to lead and guide them appropriately. You said that in the multitude of counsel, there is safety. We ask for their safety. We ask, Father, also for the legacy that we get to leave, whether it be in books, whether it be in, in uh, businesses, however we leave it, it as a legacy of our commitment, our character to follow you that others will then want to follow you too. You told us to be salt and light in this world. And that's our desire. We want to hear well done, but we want to see others come too. <laughs> I like that. We want to hear well done, but we want to see others come. Father, let us be the examples that you so desire. Clean us up. Create in us a clean heart, oh God, for those that have, gone against us and have done us wrong, we release them now to you. And we ask that you be our exceeding great reward for those that we get an opportunity to influence and impact. We ask God that we do it in the right manner, with the right attitude, with the right heart. We will be careful to give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. It's in Jesus' name that we do pray and give you thanks. Amen. Well, God bless each and every one of you. Hmm. Day 48. I don't know who came to your heart or your mind, but pray for them. Father, we just ask that they be blessed. We ask that they succeed in the endeavors that you have called for them to be in. We ask, Father, right now, that you will allow them to see where you want to take them. And whatever you need to work on the inside of them, let the lesson be received in Jesus' name. We thank you for that. And I will tell you, I am so excited about seeing so many that are here today. I'm excited about prayer. I'm excited about you revolutionizing your prayer life. And as we've gone these 48 days, if you missed any, make sure you go back and you you watch them because we did have a prayer focus every single day and we actually did it. We functioned in it. And we want to make sure that you, I want to make sure that you continue to do that too. I promised you that I was going to have the ability for you to sign up to find out about this new book that's coming out. And I'm excited about this book. It's part of the Divinely Connected series and it's praying through life's struggles. That's right. We go through so much, but we want to pray adequately. We want to pray effectively. We want to pray fervently. We want to see answers to our prayer. And so we've got to learn how to fight. We fight on our knees. We fight because we're surrounded. We fight because we know who our champion is. That's how we fight. And so that uh, registration page is going to be open very, very soon. I promise you it would. It is not ready just yet, but it will be very soon. And I will make sure I post a comment below so that you will be able to uh, jump right on in and um, be notified when I get ready to, uh, to release it. Because one, you know, you guys know that when I release, I always give back. That's part of my give back is I give you an opportunity to get a free download of the book. And I want to make sure that I put it in the right hands. So if you're interested in knowing more about that, go ahead and give me an emoji. Tell me I'm interested. If you comment that below, I'll know to make sure to send you a link so that you will be able to register as well. I want to make sure that I get this in the right hands. Why? Because if we pray, or should I say it this way? When we pray, miracles happen. 
when we pray, our life changes. When we pray, not only do we change our prayer life, but we change our entire life and the life of our family too. Thank you so much for being on this prayer challenge with me. God bless each and every one of you. Have a fantastic rest of your day and go with God knowing that you're releasing people. No more poison, no more prison for them. You're releasing them because you did become free, free to do all that God has for you. Nothing holding you back. Your prayers are no longer hindered. You can walk in everything that God has for you. But we're also praying for our children to come back. We're praying for our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren, all the future generations that we're leaving an impact for them. Have a fantastic rest of your day. God bless.